Most of the city's rescue missions are located in this 16 square block area between 4th and 6th Avenues, from Broadway to the railroad tracks. And as the missions are dedicated to saving some of the unfortunate people who live here, there's another effort, similar in missionary zeal, dedicated to saving the area itself. This used to be the business and commercial center of San Diego. It might not ever be that again, but there are a lot of people here working very hard to restore the dignity the area once had. They plan to do that by restoring the buildings and recreating the atmosphere of the turn of the century gas lamp era. They want to take down the garish signs, scrub the years of grime and layers of moldering paint off the buildings, expose and refurbish the architectural features, and create the gas lamp quarter. This block on Lower Fifth Avenue, for instance, would look like this. Sidewalks extended four feet to make room for trees, sidewalk cafes, and stairs leading down to basement shops. Gas lamps, of course, would be a major feature. And running down the middle of the street, electric trolley cars. The trolleys might turn out to be the easiest part of this project. Some of the cars that serve this part of town are known to be still operating in other cities. They'll be repurchased and returned here to run on their original rails, which are still buried under the asphalt along Fifth Avenue. The idea of creating a gas lamp quarter has been kicking around for about 10 years, but people started paying serious attention two years ago when the city approved an ordinance making the gas lamp quarter an historical district and providing $100,000 in block grant funds. Some of that money will be used to build a demonstration project. A 250-foot strip of refurbished buildings, probably along Fifth Avenue, to show what the entire gas lamp district could look like. Work on the demonstration project should begin this fall. Actually, a lot of renovation and restoration has already taken place here. The Grand Pacific Hotel at Fifth and J was once a proper, if not elegant, hostelry, but it's gone downhill steadily over the years and had become a cheap flop house. Shirley Bernard, a La Jolla real estate broker, bought the Grand Pacific last year. She got so wrapped up in restoring the hotel that she moved into one of the suites so she could be closer to the project. Her enthusiasm is infectious. And some of her tenants, who used to scurry in and out of their locked rooms and down dark and dirty corridors, are now pitching in to help to do some of the renovating. The importance of this kind of personal participation isn't lost on the leaders of the project. Charles Tyson is chairman of the Gas Lamp Quarter Planning Area Committee. Why is he convinced the idea will work? I think the primary reason is that the people in the area have been dedicated uh, and have shown their dedication through a number of different sources for a number of quite a while now. And I expect that uh, in the immediate future you will see the result of this dedication, and we already see the result of this dedication right behind us. And uh, as a result of that, uh, the people are coming to the area, the people in the area are working to rehabilitate and rejuvenate their buildings, and uh, as a result it will be a, a viable area and is a viable area right now. That viability can be seen in other parts of the quarter. The Hotel Lester, just off Fifth Avenue on Market Street, where just a little paint and patch-up has already spruced up the block, and a half dozen other buildings in various stages of renovation. As commendable as restoration projects like these are, they won't, by themselves, turn this area into the gas lamp quarter. To do that, the adult entertainment business will have to be moved out. A proposed ordinance to disperse the porno shops and peep shows will be taken up soon by the city council, and this may be the real key to the success of the gas lamp quarter. This is Shirley Klum, News 8, downtown San Diego.